Hey, nerdy sports fan. We're talking week 17 NFL action. So if you're still playing fantasy football, that means you're in the finals. Now, congrats, but man, week 17 is always difficult to navigate. There's probably only four or five games where teams are actually still trying. This is one of them, though. So the, um, the Packers have sewn up the division. Congrats. Uh, you win the North. Um, I called this at the beginning of the year. So, hey, maybe you guys should listen to me. Um, but yeah, they, this game still matters only because of playoff seeding. So if the Packers win this game, which they should, um, and a few other things shake out their way, that the worst they could possibly do is the second seed. Great. You want to sew up home field advantage. You want to sew up um, that first round by, essentially. And the Packers can easily handle that because they're going up against the Lions. Right? The Lions are crap. So I'm excited for this because the Packers have one of the best home field advantages in the NFL. There's very few teams that play that far north that still have an open air stadium. And the Packers know how to play in that. They live in it every week. And other teams coming from domes and coming from warm weather climates going up there to deal with that, huge advantage for the Packers. So they're going to want to hold on to that very tightly. And they're just going to have to lump up on the Lions in order to lock it up. Easy enough, right? <laughs> it will be. Yeah, this is going to be so horribly one-sided, it's insane. Um, the Lions... They've got David Blau playing. I, I mean, it's their third quarterback. Uh, you, you can't really necessarily blame them for how bad they're doing. Um, when you lose your best running back for the season, um, I, I guess, you, you know, injured reserve, designated to return, probably going to play this week. They shouldn't, but they're the Lions, so they're going to make crap decisions for long-term for the sake of week 17 makes no fucking sense to me anyways um matt patricia should be getting fired he isn't they've already come out and said that and um yeah carrying johnson's injury matt stafford's injury these things really hurt them but really they were doing crap before those things R truly um yeah the defense isn't what it should be and uh, uh, Quadre Diggs knew that, said something about it, got traded. Yeah. Um, yeah, Matt Patricia just needs to, he needs to go. Matt Patricia is the reason that you guys are bad right now. Um, yeah, this is another one of those teams, though, that you can chalk up to ownership. Um, something's up at the top. There's no other explanation for it. If a team is this bad for this long, this consistently, through multiple changes of regimes, the only consistent thing you can point to is the dude scratching the checks. He's the only one there consistently outside of Matt Stafford. And I don't want to blame Matt Stafford. That guy actually shows up in a lot of big games. He doesn't have the Kirk Cousins syndrome of, I'm just going to choke on a big fat wang every time I'm under pressure. Um, he doesn't. Uh, Matt Stafford shows up and shows out all the time. Um, he's just got a, a team around him that he has to consistently carry. And nobody does well with that. So, <coughs> in this matchup, I expect... Packers to dominate. I expect them to rely on Aaron Jones because they can. And Aaron Jones does extremely, extremely well these days. So running game dominant. If you have to start a receiver, it should be Devontae Adams. <coughs> mm, excuse me. But they, they spread the ball around well with Aaron Rodgers, and they focus on the running game. So the receiving targets get devalued in Green Bay a lot. 
Um, if you have other options that have the same projected value, I don't have a lot of faith in a lot of the projected values, but if they're similar projected values, Devontae Adams is devalued to me. Start the other guy. Um, so the defense, here's what matters. Packers defense, um, they're going to dominate. Start them over almost anybody. There's very few defenses I would start over the Packers in this week. So if you have them, great. You're likely to win this week because I anticipate this defense to put up real numbers. They're going to get after the quarterback. They're going to turn him over. They might even score, maybe even a couple times. This is going to be so horribly one-sided, it's insane. So it's a 12 and a half point spread. 12 and a half. Um, I would probably still bet the Packers in this one. Uh, beating them by 14, two touchdowns, doesn't seem unreasonable at all. So, yeah, bet the pack and um, start Aaron Jones in the defense. Don't really rely at all on the receiving targets. And um, don't start any Lions. Any of them. At all. Um, Galladay is a great receiver. Marvin Jones, solid number two wideout. Great. Doesn't matter. The guy getting them the ball is going to have the Smiths lying on top of him so many times in this game. He won't be able to deliver enough solid, you know, catchable balls to these guys to have real significant fantasy impact. So... Avoid Lions players like the plague. That's what I have for this game. Check out the rest of my videos for more fantasy advice if you still need it. And happy holidays to you guys.